Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you some cool notification center tweaks that you can install on your jailbroken device that can really expand the uh, usefulness of notification center. Look at notification center, how it appears normally. You can see it's pretty boring, uh, pretty bland, nothing much there. And that's really all you can do with it on a stock device. But with Cydia installed, there's a couple different things we can install. And none of these Tweaks that I'm going to show you require any special sources that you have to add or anything. You can all find all these by just searching for them. So the best tweak is probably Springboard Settings. So if we go and we open up Springboard Settings, and you can download this from Cydia, just search SB Settings. That's all you have to do. You'll see all these different options here. Now, you don't have to use Springboard Settings with Notification Center, but if you want to, you're going to want to disable the drop-down window. And then you're going to want to go down here and configure the settings you want under iOS 5 plus the notification. So in this case, you can pick a theme, and I really like the serious theme. It looks the best. And uh, you know, there's not much you really have to do. Uh, but the thing that you have to do to turn it on is go up into Settings and go to Notifications. And just like anything else in Notification Center, you have to scroll down until you find it here. So you can see not in Notification Center, Springboard Settings. I can switch that on. And now when I drop down Springboard, you'll see I have this extra column here of different quick settings. So let's say I want to turn my brightness up or down. It pops up a little brightness thing, and I can adjust that here. I can also do things like turn off Wi-Fi if I want to. I can turn it back on. You know, I can make little quick notes here. Uh, there's a lot of different settings, and oops, I just launched weather. But as you can see, there's just a lot of different stuff you can do. And if you scroll over, you can reload. You can power off your device, and you can even bring down the classic style menu. There's also a neat tweak, and it's called Respring. Now, this is something that you might want if you don't use Notification Center all that much, uh, because this takes up a lot of space. And you don't want something as heavy as Springboard Settings. Sometimes that can drain a little bit of battery life. Uh, if you just search Respring in Cydia, you can download this. It's for Notification Center. If you turn it on under Notifications, you'll see this Respring thing here. And if I hit Respring, all it's going to do is Respring my device. Now, it takes up a lot of room, and it's not really the most attractive thing. So, in my opinion, it's better to go with something like Springboard Settings, where I can just hit Restart Springboard, and it'll do that for me. But if you want something a little more lightweight, and you're not concerned about it taking up a lot of room, something like Respring can help you out. And now on to two of my favorites, which are Custom NC Background and Blurried NC Background. So both of these you can just search in Cydia once again. And what they do is let you use any picture or a blurred background for Notification Center. So if I enable this and I pick an image, I can find a picture I want to use for a background. So let's say I want to choose this picture of the shore that I took. So I can choose that, and if it's not uh, oriented for the iPhone's aspect ratio, you can choose fill screen. And after that, if you just open up Notification Center, you'll see that it has used that as the background. Now that's not obviously the best photo to choose for a uh, Notification Center background. It actually looks pretty terrible. Uh, but you can see what you could do with it. Here's something a little bit nicer. Here's uh, Stonewall, and it's still not the best, but you know, it looks nice, and if you're getting bored with the linen backgrounds and everything, it's a nice handy tweak. So now I'm going to disable this, because I want to show you blurry to NC background. So I'm going to turn this back on, and there's a lot of different options here. So basically, this just blurs your backgrounds. So you can see right through Notification Center, and it's just blurred. Now there's a ton of options here, because I can turn on and off the blur, which I don't know why I really want to do. I can change the blur value, so if I want it really low, I can look at that. You can see it's barely blurred at all, or I can turn it all the way up, and, uh, and now it kind of looks like fog glass. I can also change the color opacity if I want to. I can change the background tint color. So let's say I want it yellow for some reason. And I want this blur value kind of down here. Maybe the color opacity up a little bit. And now let's see how it looks. So there's a yellow look. Personally, I think it looks best with the blur value right about there. Color opacity right about there. And I use a black tint color. And I think it looks pretty nice. And uh, especially if you're on your home screen, you can kind of get an idea of how transparent it can be. So I really like this tweak, and I think Apple should actually ship Notification Center on its devices with a blurred background like this. So there's how to customize Notification Center in iOS 5 with some nice Cydia tweaks. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.